Breaking in this morning, there is growing concern over the coronavirus. Within the past hour, organizers of the Geneva Auto Show confirmed that event will be canceled. Overnight, Germany also quarantined a thousand people at home as coronavirus cases are spreading across the globe. Meanwhile, on this Friday, the U.S. stock market set to open at least 400 points lower when the opening bell rings. Now that would follow Wall Street's biggest one day drop in nine years with the Dow plummeting 1200 points. Overnight Asian stock markets continued to fall as fears continue that the coronavirus will derail gro global trade and other industries too. Meanwhile, members of Congress will meet behind closed doors today for an update on the coronavirus threat. They'll talk about funding. $2.5 billion was originally proposed, but several say that number is inadequate. The legislation will instead likely be in the six to eight billion dollar range, covering things like interest free loans for small businesses affected by the outbreak and reimbursements for state and local governments that are paying to fight the coronavirus. But the House and Senate expect to agree on a number in the next two weeks. Without extra money, Kansas City's health director said fighting the coronavirus will be like putting out a fire with no firefighters. So we asked the director what he would like to do with a blank check to fight the coronavirus. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan joins us live this morning with his answer. Charlie, what's his financial solution here? He's got three solutions. With that extra money, he would, one, create more lab space here at the health department so he could, you know, process more tests. Number two, he would put money toward communications and getting the word out to the public. And then number three, he would hire more disease detectives. I'm going to show you a picture that the health department showed with us of some disease detectives at work here inside the building behind me. They say that these disease detectives are a lot like a police detective, but instead of maybe hunting down uh, the killer in a homicide, they actually hunt down how a person got sick, where that disease came from and who else might be at risk of getting that same disease. So the director here told me without those, without the money to hire more disease detectives, well, he's basically handcuffed. We've gotten smarter at what we need to do by 10, 15 percent every year for 20 years. Mm -hmm. The problem is that with the lack of funding, we've lost an eye, an ear, an arm and a leg, maybe half of our tongue. I mean, it, it's, sure. it has been a challenge from a standpoint of actually being able to implement fully those plans that we know we can or should do. And Dr. Archer told me it's great the federal government's considering kind of a one-time shot in the arm of money, but he says it needs to be something that's more long-term, where they uh, increase the funding and then commit to that level of funding year after year after year to make sure that these health agencies are in better position for the next outbreak. Reporting live in Kansas City, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.